Yola Nation, it's your boy. Hello again. Here with Albert again. We are in the studio. We are getting ready to throw down the final tracks. We're doing the bridge. We're having a good old time. Oh man. So actually, I'm gonna be leaving his room today. He's gonna let me leave. Uh, I've been his prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna meet some uh, a friend of his and help him shoot a new video. So we have a very action-packed day ready for you all. Hope you guys are ready. Let's go! Bloopers! Albert talking like a divorce, like my like divorced husband. He's like, you can have half of that. You can have half of that. <laughs> so packing triple E up. Uh, gonna go see AJ. He's a friend of Albert's, and we're gonna help him shoot. And, and I'm gonna talk to him, meet him, and we'll we'll see what goes on. Not gonna lie, I'm like super duper digging LA. Like, I, guys, I might have to move here. Like, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now don't get me wrong, I love New York and I think it's where I need to be right now, but ever since leaving Georgia, I've never really found a place that felt like it could call it home. And so California really feels like that to me. We'll see. Oh, and if there are any rich sugar mamas out there who can like put me up and like pay for my stuff, like I'm open to that. Let's see, let, let's talk, let's have a conversation. So guys, uh, for today's TBK tip of the day, I wanted to talk to you, or I wanted to talk to Albert and ask him that question I'd love to ask everybody. He's driving, so take what he says with a grain of salt. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, like one of those like, um, James, uh, James Corden. James Corden like singing like, in the- Yeah, the, 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 yeah, but it's like a car, carpool. Ca carpool karaoke. Oh. Carpool karaoke, but this Carp is like oh, our version it. of it. Exactly. Yeah, but anyway, so I like to ask everybody that I come across, especially people who are like just a step ahead of you, what is that one thing that you wish you could tell your younger self? All right, so I mean, I'm doing mostly YouTube stuff right now. I'm producing for other YouTubers, but this is something that like, I legit could not have predicted, you know, like 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Literally, when, um, like, one of those, like, elementary school exercises, you know, your teacher makes you do is, like, where do you see yourself in, like, you know, 10, 20 years? And, like, no joke, I said I was going to be a bachelor, um, <laughs> but, but currently in med school and on my way to become a doctor. And this was, I think, in, like, third or fourth grade. And it wasn't so much that I wanted to be a doctor, but just, like, I couldn't. Um, I just like wasn't passionate about much back in the day. It was just like video games mm -hmm. and music. But I think whether it's someone subconsciously or consciously, um, I just kind of thought that wasn't like a viable career path. Not just music, but just like entertainment in general. It's like yeah. you know, like that couldn't be me. And so I li yeah. literally lived my entire um, um, kind of like K through 12 education, like believing that like I had to do get a, a real job. Wow. Um, like. Yeah. Who's heard that before? <laughs> and then, so, you know, like, I was, like, a super, you know, super good student. Um, didn't get my first, didn't get a B until I went to college. Wow. Um, you know, I was taking, like, a bajillion a AP classes <laughs> and in, like, you know, five different extracurriculars and three orchestras. Yeah, and so, but, but I had no idea what I was actually doing. I was just following through the motions of what people told me that this is what you need to do to get into a good college, to get a good job. You know, it's always, like doing the thing to get you to the next thing. Yep. And it wasn't until college that I realized that I wasn't as smart or as, like, you know, um, ambitious. Well, not ambitious, but I wasn't as smart nor as talented as I thought I was or my peers kind of, like, led me to believe. Because um, I'm from a, I'm from Fresno. It's a small, it's a small um, city in Central California. And so, you know, you feel 
like you've seen the world when you've really seen nothing. So you're, you were a big fish in a small pond. Big fish in a small pond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I went to college, and you know, I met a lot of people who were just like me, um, but you know, more more driven, um, smarter, and more important, like more passionate about the things that they really wanted to do. And that's when I realized that like I couldn't. I couldn't justify to myself like why I wanted to be a doctor or going to pre health. Mm-hmm. It was just kind of the thing that Asian Asian people are encouraged to do that or law or computer engineering. And so I like had this huge like existential crisis, you know. Like I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I'm like, yeah. what am I good at? Mm-hmm. When like the answer was like in front of me like the entire time. Like I made like films and videos like when I was like in elementary school and middle school. Mm-hmm. Did have like YouTube channel before my current channel that I did magic stuff on. Wow! And, and that actually was, did like decently. Well. I don't like it's still hidden on YouTube. Yeah, but, it's hidden. But Go back, find it, guys. Go find it. <laughs> but back in the day, it was like it was it was pretty popping. Hey guys, real quick, In and Out Burger. You see that? Do you see that? Okay, I'm coming for you. I'm Not coming for you. So what is the like one thing like that you wish you could tell your younger self? Like, is go out about? and. And explore. Don't limit yourself that early in your life. You know, oh, okay. um, because I thought you know certain things were out of my reach or just um, not viable career paths. Like I just didn't. Like I really wish I had like you know practiced more or like like been like done more creative stuff like earlier in my life, mm-hmm. um, and not just been so focused on like I need to get into like you know like the college of my dreams. Because really, college is just a stepping stone to the to do the things you really want to do. Um, but but you don't know what you really want to do until you've kind of explored everything. And so so you think you know what you want to do in high school, but you you probably don't. Well, most people don't. Mm-hmm. Um, and and you know it's like try to keep your options open. Be be open. Yes. Don't don't close the doors um, to to other things like too early on in your life. Like you really just like put yourself out there, put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Um, and then that's like how you really know, like that's how you really discover yourself and like what is the right thing that you want to be doing with your with yourself in your life. Albert Chang, everybody. <laughs> Love it, man. That was great. After a long car trip, we are here. Ooh, I'm excited. Uh, can you get out the car? What you got there? What? Is that filming equipment? Camera. Camera. Let's get Patrick. Uh, did you name your violin? You didn't? Why not? I don't like naming my inanimate objects. Why not? It's like important. Anxiety, so it's better. Oh, it's better if don't you get too don't get too attached. This guy. Let me play. Let me play. I actually wrote a song. I wrote a song a long time ago. Just a, it's an instrumental. It's weird because Albert's holding the camera and I'm usually holding the camera. Are you doing weird things? No, you're doing weird things. I don't want to eat my vegetables, mommy. Stop. Oh. <laughs> Sang it, bro. Where's the tear, Albert? Where's the tear? <laughs> Get it! 
Thank you to the church. <laughs> focus, focus. Okay. That's where Albert is like showing me all of his friends. All of his friends are so dope. I think it's a master plan to like try to get me to move out here to to LA. La la land, yo. La la. <laughs> so what are we doing now? So we're gonna go um, to a park to film Jessica and AJ. Um, okay. Yeah. And the, okay. And the song is something. I never needed you to like Wait, do right now. Cry. No, no. So like, make, I do this. Make me cry. Oh, make me cry. Make, you cry. make you cry. Is that the name of the yeah, song? Noah Cyrus. It's Miley Cyrus's sister. Oh, Miley Cyrus is a sister? Yeah. Is she fine? Um, she's too young for me. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Black bag. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Albert's making me his workhorse. Making me go to work. <laughs> Here it is. Oh boy. You should zip up your equipment, bruh. You should zip up your bag, dude. It's like open. <laughs> Here you go. You're welcome. Boom. This dog is so talented. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. John's finished the shoot, and now it's really cold, and we're gonna go home. Oh my goodness. Dude, Dude how you feel, man? Hey, dude, I should have taped you getting those lyrics. Oh. He's got all the lyrics for me. What a, what a nice guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Check out his channel, y'all. I never thought there'd be someone like you who would want me. So I give you 10,000 reasons to not let me go. And you have a channel, Jessica? Yes. What's your channel? Jessica Lasaka. Okay, check her out too. Do it. Sing it, Albert. Sing it, Albert. Don't, don't be like that. You wanna do that real quick? <laughs> Piano song challenge! <laughs> so, for first place, <laughs> piano trophy that I just got. Wow, yep. there we go. Ooh, Ooh that's so clean though. Doggy. Oh. Huh? Is what? it safe? <laughs> I know, because we get mad. Train, usually. yeah. Train them not to <laughs> come outside. <laughs> Hey, AJ. Pleasure meeting you, brother. So fun, man. It's great. Good vibes. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah all day. Ooh, boy, Albert. We did work today, man. We did a lot of work. Ooh. Oh man, I'm tired. Of, we're gonna go back home. We have an hour and a half drive. Well, hour and hour. change. We go home, edit this vlog. We'll get going tomorrow. Tomorrow, we don't have much to do. We're gonna lay down a couple more tracks, and then we're gonna just. I'm gonna do a fan meetup. I'm gonna do uh, a couple meetings with some friends of mine. So tomorrow's gonna be leisure day. So it's gonna be fun. We'll have a lot of fun, and uh, I will see you guys then. Peace.